Rich Stumpy is the Chief Customer Experience Officer at Count, and here he is joining us now with information all online shoppers need to know. Rich, thanks for being with us this afternoon. How are you? I'm terrific. Thanks for having me. Well, let, let's start there. Um, everybody by now has figured out, even people who are not technologically advanced, have learned how to shop online because that's the only way to get it done mm -hmm. here. And the bad guys know where to go. So what is your first advice in developing a, a mindset to counteract whatever it is they know how to do? Sure, uh, great question. So first I would say is that the people that are out committing fraud, they're using stolen credit cards and stolen identities and bots to uh, use your financial information to purchase things illegally or using these robots, uh, these bots to take over your accounts. So you have to be aware that this is happening and you have to watch for signals that is happening to your, your credit or bank account or your online account for a ver various types of uh, businesses that you might deal with online. All right, so you said you have to be aware and watch the signals, so watch the alerts. What types of alerts are we talking about? What would tell me that, hey, the bad guys are out there and they just got my credit card information? Yeah, you, you might see unusual activity on your credit card statement uh, at, at places that you've shopped before. You might see an email or a notification in an app that looks suspicious to you because it's indicating that your identity has made a purchase that you didn't actually make. So you need, you need to check all of those different sorts of signals. They may arrive in email, they may arrive in text, and they may arrive on an app. All right, so you have to be more aware than ever. Here's a question for you. So I know that a lot of small businesses that are trying to survive this pandemic have started these online sales platforms. So maybe if they didn't have a website before, they've now put one in place. Are you concerned at all that maybe some of these online sales platforms may not be up to speed on, on some of these safety guidelines and security guidelines that maybe a bigger, you know, big box store might have in place? Certainly, I think, I think one of the big issues is that as people have rushed to do business the only way they could do in 2020, which was online, they may have gone forward and implemented systems that don't have all the controls in place. So if you're not familiar, if you don't have the fraud mindset, I do think it's a definite risk that you won't have the controls in place and you won't have the capabilities to stop an attack once it starts. Do you have any suggestions for technology, consumer technology or, or an app or something that we could take part of? Uh, I, I know a lot of times people would freeze their credit and then unfreeze it, but in this day and age, you're constantly buying stuff, and I don't know how practical that is. So what do you say people should uh, should yeah. maybe download or consider buying? Yeah, I think I think there's the, a lot of... Uh, a lot of consumers are also business owners. I think a lot, the business owners are the place that can protect people the best. If they implement the systems, the defenses, the layered approaches, they're the ones that are gonna kind of lock the door mm -hmm. before the people with stolen credit cards, stolen identities and stolen credentials will come into their digital store and end up stealing from a consumer and stealing from the business. Alternatively, I think also the customers should be uh, implementing the text alerts from the credit card companies and enabling notifications from the, all of the different sorts of shopping apps that, that, that they use. Okay, all good advice. Thank you so much. Rich Stuppy, the Chief Customer Experience Officer at Count. We appreciate it. Thank you, Lourdes. Thank you, Ray. Have, Have a great, great holiday. Happy you holiday. You too. Thanks.